On this episode, we're going to explore the topic that everybody cares about, the Quibic tokenomics, or how I like to think of it, how can I make money mining on Quibic? Let's get into it and explore. Understanding the tokenomics of the Quibic protocol is a little bit of a brain bender, but hopefully after this video, it makes a lot more sense. So let's talk about it. As you probably know from my previous video, the Quibic network uses a proof of work system that they call useful proof of work. Now, useful proof of work simply means that instead of solving arbitrary difficult problems like on Bitcoin, they actually solve real world problems to help train artificial neural networks, which is actually pretty awesome. But anyway, what we're talking about today is how they go about compensating people for doing that. Within the Quibic proof of work system, we end up with like a two layer model for solving the proof of work problems. First of all, we have the computers, which are like super nodes or super hosts for the network, and they're responsible for running the network. And under them, we have miners who are responsible for solving small chunks of those problems and providing reports back to the computers. Now here's where it gets really interesting. So every week, the Quibic protocol emits 1 trillion tokens, which is a lot, but you can look at their price and understand, maybe that'll explain why it's so low. These 1 trillion tokens are paid towards the Quibic computers, because these are the super nodes, and those super nodes are responsible for paying their miners to solve problems on their behalf. And all of this is happening in a competitive system. So if you take a step back and you think about it, what's actually happening is this. Quibic requires artificial neural network problems to be solved for proof of work, tick. And they do that by paying their super nodes to solve it on their behalf, tick. But those super nodes can partner with miners all around the world to distribute them out. And this is all competitive. So the computers are incentivized to basically find the best miners on the planet to contribute those problems back to them so that they become the best computers of the 676 and they keep getting their rewards. Hopefully that made sense. Now this can get really interesting because those computers, you can literally just go onto pools and join them and, and get involved. So these computers are actually responsible for building their entire like network of people <laughs> to solve problems for them. I think it's, it's actually kind of brilliant and I'm really interested to see where it goes. In terms of understanding the numbers, here's some of the numbers on how that actually works. So the Quibic protocol releases 1 trillion tokens per week. Now if there's 676 super nodes and 1 trillion tokens, that means that the maximum amount that a node can receive is 1.479 billion tokens per week. At today's prices, that's around 2,200 US dollars. And if we were to go to the peak, or the, the peak when I made this at least of the Quibic network, that would be around 18 to 20,000 US dollars, which is pretty good. But these computers actually also need to pay miners to mine on their behalf, or to at least help them to be more competitive. So what you end up with is the computers might be receiving a lot of cash, but they're actually kind of building out their own network of people that are presumably they have to incentivize to get there to help them participate. I actually wanted to see how this works. So in my next video, I actually talk you through the mining uh, that I did in, on the Quibic network and show you how the miner works. But effectively, what I found is that if I was doing it myself on my admittedly very underspecced machine, I think I've got an i5 13th generation Intel chip and an old 3060 um, NVIDIA GPU, I was able to earn around 40 to 50 cents per day. Um, and my electricity costs were only about 12 cents a day. So it was definitely slightly more than breaking even. But it'd be interesting to see how this works in the real world because the tokenomics at the current price don't really work out. I mean, they're kind of talking about two to three thousand dollars per week, but if you look at the requirements for a computer, they need like 500 gigabytes of RAM, and and now we're into the hardware discussion, which has nothing to do with the tokenomics. What we end up with is the tokenomics being as follows: we have a proof of work system that has a two-layer approach that requires 676 super nodes to partner with an effectively infinite number of miners in order to solve those problems. It's a powerful approach, and particularly if the team can pull it off in such a way that the, the problems that are getting solved are getting solved at a scale faster than what we see with the current approaches in AI, we could be onto a game changer, and I'm super interested to see how it works out. In the next episode, I'll be taking a deep dive into mining on Quibic, which is a great way to earn money from this really interesting protocol. I'll see you there.